From above the world of cars comes the world of planes. I'm Cassandra Shaw reporting for Kids Pick Flicks, and we're standing in front of the Museum of Flying. We're about to talk to stars, including Terry Hatcher, Dane Cook, and director Clay Hall. Let's take a look. So, Dusty is an underdog who manages to overcome his fear of flying. <laughs> I like to say he's an underplane. Underplane, underplane. <laughs> yes, correct me. Uh, he's an underplane who has yes. a fear of flying. Fear of heights. Fear of heights. Fear of heights. So, what's something that you had to overcome? In my life, mm -hmm. I felt like, in many ways, I had a fear of heights uh, growing fear up, heights? but not necessarily the same kind. I, I think that uh, I wanted to be an entertainer, and from a very young age, I was uh, so nervous. I was like a nervous kid. Mm -hmm. um, I was, um, I wanted to participate, like maybe on sports, but I always got very sick when I would think about Ooh. being around other kids. Uh, just tons of anxiety, like like real anxiety. But I wanted to be a performer. So it was like, okay, wait, if I feel nauseous around people, but I want to entertain the masses, how am I going to be able to push myself to find that? And I think that there's a correlation between myself and the character of Dusty. Yes, how did you overcome that? I had a great mentor. I had a great teacher in high school. And uh, he really took me under his wing and he was very supportive. He was my, my drama teacher. Oh. And uh, on the first day of class, he was very open and honest with me about uh, uh, wanting to see me come out of that shell and to trust myself. He, he saw that I was so like uh, afraid to even participate in a class of 12 or 15 people. Yeah. Um, but he will forever be the person that you know uh, guided me and helped me to find those uh, integral moments to where I needed to step on stage and I just needed to try to go a little further than what I thought I could. Now there's a line in the movie where Dusty says, I'm built, uh, I can do more than what I'm built for. Yes. Is that anything to do with your life? Well, I think so. I, I mean, when you're a young kid and you know that you want to be a performer, you learn right away from people that it's uh, there's no there's really no graduation from that. There's no guarantee that you're even going to be able to make a living. It's a lot of luck. Yeah. It's a lot of luck, and it's a lot of uh, you want to uh, prepare as much as you can, but ultimately you don't know really where it's going to lead you to. Mm -hmm. um, so I wanted to have fans, and I wanted to make people laugh and smile, Absolutely. but I also knew that I had to remove some weight that was on me, uh, on my heart, and some um, maybe some negative thinking and turn that into some positive thinking. I mean, that's all, what we all have to do in life. I think what you're saying is really true. Sure. Yeah, and finally, what's your favorite kids movie? My favorite kids movie? Yes, besides this one, you can't be biased. I love The Incredibles. I love that. I think love The Incredibles, uh, this, really quickly, the scene where uh, they're hiding in the cave, remember mm -hmm. that scene with the mother? Yes. And she turns to Dash and she has that really, poignant moment where she says, you know the bad guys that are on TV? And he goes, he kind of goes like, like, because he likes those bad yeah, guys. Mm -hmm. And she said, they're like those guys, but they will really hurt us. And you see this like moment where Dash kind of realizes that his family could be hurt. And I thought it was just such a human, the, the most human moment I've ever seen in, a, in an animated film. So I would have to say The Incredibles is my favorite. Yes, well, thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Oh, you were really delightful.